everybody, welcome back to the Electric Supercar channel. This week we're going to go ahead and uh, look at moving some battery modules and the uh, 12 volt battery. So we'll see how far we get. Um, I did want to make mention that the uh, a lot of the issues I've been having, I'm pretty sure are my fault. So um, especially EV controls, they have been just a fabulous company to work with. Um, just want to thank them for all their support. I'm most of the time they kind of get to my questions within an hour. So lots of other companies I've been dealing with take days or weeks. So um, really grateful for their support and let's get into that build. All right, looking to uh, relocate or find some homes for some things. So this is the battery that needs to be relocated. Um, I thought it could fit there simply because it was below the bar. Um, but I'll take you over to the shell and show you why it's not going to work. All right, so here's the shell. So I don't know if you can imagine, but the bar kind of runs along there, and this actually slopes down. So the battery is going to be a little too tall for where it's going to sit. Um, so it's got to be relocated. Um, in theory, it could be just shifted forward. Um, or there's the same cavity space on the other side, so on the driver's side. So I'm the components I'm looking to find homes for is I've got to do the uh, onboard charger as well as the 12 volt battery. All right, I got some steel cut, uh, holes drilled and welded. This is all to uh, change the battery location from there to over here. Um, we should have enough room. And then I'm gonna look at putting the onboard charger, see where that can go. All right, I got the uh, brackets. This is for the battery. This is for the onboard charger. I uh, got them cut to length. I had to grind them to get exactly how I wanted and then um, drilled the holes, tapped the holes, welded, cleaned, and painted. So they should be good to go. I'll let it dry and then I'll go ahead and bolt things in place. All right, I got the uh, battery mounted and the onboard charger mounted. So from here, I gotta make some new cables. So for the battery, I gotta get some cables that go up and around. For this one, I gotta get some cables that go back. So one's gonna go my high voltage box, um, and the other one will go to the charging port, which I believe I'm gonna just put out the back. All right, making some new uh, battery cables, uh, 12 volt, just, uh, Again, from where it was to where it is, I just need to wrap some new cables around. So getting to it and uh, should be done soon. All right, so these are the cables from the onboard charger. So this is uh, going out, so this will be like the uh, 400 volts. And uh, this is just stuff that I'm learning along the way, but so, I don't know, can you see that? So this has got 10 gauge, 10 AWG. So that's the two wires coming out. This little guy is 18 gauge. And the gauge of the wire has to do with how many amps. So lots of times uh, I just get confused, but the essentially the, the shielding or the cabling on the outside, the insulation has to do with voltage. The 
metal on the inside. So the diameter of the metal on the inside has to do with amperage. So that's kind of how they do their wires. So basically the, the input is actually um, much smaller than the output. So the input is 14 gauge AWG. The out output is 10 gauge. So I don't have any, I do have some 14 gauge, but I don't have any 10 gauge. So I need to get some that needs to run back to the high voltage box. That'll charge up the battery packs. Um, this other one will go essentially to, to this guy. And I, I don't know where I want that one yet. Um, the other thing is I'm hesitant to cut off the plug because right now it's easy to charge just with the uh, house voltage and I don't have a receptacle that'll charge this yet, at least at home. So I don't know if I'll cut that yet. I still need to mount this, but I do need to get some wire. We had removed, again, there used to be two battery modules behind each seat. So now there's just one. So those two extra battery modules now need to move somewhere else. Uh, again, after the first drive, um, it definitely seems like it could use uh, more weight over the rear, the rear tires. Um, handling, you know, cornering and things, it, it was it was great. I haven't tried like any high speed cornering, but uh, balance seems really good. Um, so anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put those or mock up where I think I want those battery modules. All right, so for this back battery box, um, I had this kind of a hinge door that could open because you can't really take these straight up. There's kind of these bars in the way. So this would hinge open, that way you can kind of clean them out and bring them out this way. Um, I'm planning to put the two other batteries right here and here. Um, so I gotta get rid of this door Again, the door does not hold those batteries. They're held by kind of a bar across that's pinching them tight. Um, so this will be kind of the battery tray. Can't really hold it too well, but that'll be the battery tray. I gotta make some brackets and things to fix it to the frame. But that'll hold the battery, those two battery modules, one there and one there. I gotta do some more thinking. Okay, so I had to cut off the uh, pin for the hinge. It was kind of flared on both sides, so it couldn't be removed like a door hinge. Um, but I got that cut off um, and then pulled the pins out and then the whole door off. So I want to put it back on. It's pretty easy, but uh, the new plan is not to. All right, um, I don't remember where I got this. I think this is maybe for like gluing like a picture frame or something. Anyway, this works great for getting nice uh, square, essentially in order to weld uh, these square joints. So we'll show you how it goes, but it uh, works really nice. All right, I got the, uh, this is the top kind of all welded up, nice and square. I still got to put some uh, tabs or something on it uh, so when I, anyway, so I can kind of pull it down, tighten it onto the two battery modules. So I'll probably put uh, one more cross member in the middle and uh, kind of get some holes, some tabs and holes so I can kind of bolt everything down. All right. Uh, this mess is kind of uh, what's gonna hold the last two battery modules in the rear. So it's kind of hard to see what's going on. So um, I'll clean it up and paint it and then show you what it's like in the car. All right, here is the new battery tray for again, the last two modules. 
so they'll just be laying down side by side there. So um, I still haven't painted it. I need to just make sure I don't need to weld on any other tabs or things, but that's what she looks like. All right, I had it out two more times, uh, probably about 10 minutes each. First drive. Oh my gosh, Jeremy, I can't believe it. We were <laughs> I can't believe it works. <laughs> it does go. <laughs> two more times uh, and didn't have another fault code. So um, we will keep watching for that. One of the things is um, the limp mode, uh, EV control said, well, there's another code that goes along with it that says why it went into limp mode. And apparently when you turn off essentially power to the controller, it kind of flushes that. So I don't know why. So we're just looking for it to happen again so we can understand why. They, they thought maybe because I'm just wanting, running one battery pack and uh, you know having some fun maybe a little bit of voltage sag so it reached a minimum voltage limit I don't know we will keep looking though all right uh, getting them painted I always hesitate to paint just uh, seems like right after I paint I want to go drill or weld or something else so I left it for an extra day but didn't change anything so uh, I'll flip things over, paint the other side, and put them on the car, get the batteries in. All right, I got it attached. I got a couple attachment points, and everything's all set. Just need to put the battery modules in, but it is getting, it's getting kind of late. So I think that's all the time we have for this week. But next week, uh, we'll get the battery modules in, get them connected, uh, get the BMS working, and go from there. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.